Hey, what's up? John Son, Meds from SimpleProgrammer.com. So I thought I'd do a video today, just finish my run. Uh, this is the hard day, because it's Sunday. That means that I ran 10 miles yesterday, and I just finished running 10 miles today. And I haven't eaten anything, and I'm doing low carb during the weekend. Or basically no carb, close to no carb. But uh, it figured it'd be appropriate to do a video on sort of this idea of <laughs> why, why put yourself through all these things. And the difference, I think, between an important circumstance or important thing to consider in life is the difference between the things you put yourself through voluntarily and the things that are thrust upon you. And the same type of thing, same action, same thing, if you bring it upon yourself voluntarily versus it being thrust upon you, has drastically different results in your life, not only in how you perceive it and how you interpret it, but also in, in the result that, that comes from it. So, a lot of things in life are gonna be thrust upon you. What I mean by that is, you know, I put myself through kind of a grueling workout and work schedule, right? I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to work. I don't have to do anything, I don't have to write, spend, you know, so many hours a day writing a book and creating YouTube videos and doing all the kind of work that I do. Uh, I don't have to go and work out for two hours a day, every day and do all these things. I don't have to fast, you know, until five. But I put myself through these things, why? Because the thing is, when you put yourself through it, you gain control of those situations. You also get to a point where, you know, if I were poor, if I had to work, if everything was taken away from me, you know, it's, it's not po impossible for that to happen, right? A government can be overthrown. We live, I live in the United States of America, but there, there's no reason to think that some other country may not eventually conquer, that we might not, you know, I might lose all my property, all my rights. I might have to start over from ground zero. I might have to be poor, right? Um, I might have to actually go without food. But because I've done those things voluntarily for myself, and this is kind of a stoic thought, I don't have to worry about those things. I know I can handle them because I've brought those conditions upon myself, right? You might say that I'm, I'm kind of living like a, uh, like a homeless person or a poor person, not eating, right? Not, uh, you know, poor, putting myself through forced labor, right? doing all these kind of crazy things. Um, but I, to me, it's a positive thing, right? It's, I have a positive mindset about it. It benefits me. It, uh, it's something that strengthens me. It's something that, that I don't consider to be an injustice to me. And that's because I've chosen it. But those same circumstances, same type of thing, right? Of not being able to eat, only eating one meal a day, whatever, you know, on, you know, have, having to operate on, the, on, a, on a small amount of capital or whatever, those same circumstances could be thrust upon you, right? And if they are, now they're such a bad thing, now they're such a penalty. And if you haven't prepared yourself in life by going through some hardship, by forcing yourself to go through hardship purposefully, then when it is thrust upon you, what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna be weak, you're not gonna be able to handle those things. So anyway, something to think about is purposely living in poverty for some time, purposely going without food, purposely going through hard labor and hard work and, and these type of things, not only just to build your strength and character and to enrich yourself in that way, but to prepare yourself so that you can appreciate things more so that if you do fall in hard times, you'll be able to handle it. You'll know you can cut it. Uh, I was just listened to Tim Ferriss' podcast and he usually quotes this quote. It's a really good quote about, I can't remember the exact, but essentially like you don't rise to your aspirations, but instead you fall to your training, your level of training. And so what is your level of training? What have you been able to do? And when the, when the time comes, when it comes push to shove, it's going to be that that you fall back on. So, Anyway, uh, just some thoughts to think about for today. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel and become part of the community, check out the, the Patreon page where you can get some pretty cool rewards. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.